All right, so in this video, we look at the idea of making a dilution um, by mixing two separate solutions together. So in this specific example, it says, consider mixing a certain volume of a certain concentration of copper nitrate solution with a certain volume of another concentration copper nitrate solution. Determine the concentration of all species in the final solution, and that we may assume that the volumes are additive. Now, that's a very important um, part of the question. Otherwise, we might have struggled um, quite a bit. So what are we told? We're told we take a beaker with something, and we take another beaker with something, and we add them together to give us a final solution with more volume. So let's call this situation one, and this two, two, that's a two. For beaker one, we take the concentration of one equal to 0 0.100 molar. The volume of one is equal to 50 milliliter. Okay, the same for two, solution two's concentration is given as 1.00 molar and volume is given as a hundred milliliter. Okay, so we add them together, the final volume, so volume, um, let's call it volume of mixture, is equal to and of course, 150 milliliter because the volumes are additive. So it's 150 to zero milliliter that we get. When we're adding stuff, we look at the decimals. So 100.00 and 50.00 needs two decimals uh, for the answer. Anyway, that's just a bit of revision. <clears throat> and the question now is, how do we determine what the concentration is of copper, two plus. Well, the concentration of nitrate. And for that matter, what is the concentration of copper nitrate? We can start there. What is that concentration? So those are the things that we want to calculate. The big question is, how do we calculate concentration? Well, concentration is always equal to the number of mole divided by the volume because Concentrations unit is mole per liter or mole per volume unit. So we have the volume of our mixture. It's 150 moles. So we need the number of mole. And how do we get the number of mole? Well, there's a number of mole of copper nitrate in this solution. That is added and we add the entire solution. So number of mole is equal to concentration times volume. So this will be equal to C1 times V1. And the number of mole of copper nitrate in this solution is equal to C2 V2. And once we have that, then it means we will get a total number of moles. So in other words, then in copper nitrate in O3, 2, let me just get rid of that. Copper nitrate, let's call it total. So this one is for number two. Number two, and this is for number one. The total copper nitrate number of moles will be equal to the sum of one and two. So that is equal to the number of moles of one plus the number of moles of two divided by the volume of the mixture. Okay, so simply enough, we need to calculate the number of moles of both of those situations. So the number of moles of copper nitrate is equal to C1, V1. That is equal to, we have a 0 0.1 molar solution. And that means we have 0 0.100 mole per liter. Let me just 
right out mold that's not meter and then volume is 50 milliliters so that means it's 50 times 10 to the negative 3 liter And let's quickly do that. So that's one, two, three, 0 0.5. So then it becomes 0 point naught naught five. So that means it's five point zero zero times ten to the negative three mole. All right. So that's how much it comes from the one. So this is for situation one, for situation two. The number of mole of copper nitrate. Be two there. Equal to the concentration of solution two times the volume of concentration of uh, solution two, um, and you should find that it's zero point zero zero times ten to the negative three mole. Okay. So that's the number of mole. So therefore, the number of mole of the mixture, what did I call that earlier? I call that copper nitrate total. So you can also call it copper nitrate total. Should be the sum of those two things. So that gives us six times 10, Oh, 6.00 zero, zero times 10 to the negative 3 mole. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. There's a little boo boo here, it should be to the power minus 1. So then that means that's 0 0.1. We just quickly change all of this. 0 0.1, then it's 1.05 times 10 to the negative 1. Yes, negative 1 mole. Never do things in your head, kids. Um, over the total volume, which is 150 times 10 to the negative 3 liter. Okay. So then that means we take the negative three upstairs, it becomes two, so then it's 105 over 150. 15 is 0 0.7, 0, 0 molar. Okay, that is the concentration. So concentration, um, oh, I actually should have calculated the situation so that's the number of mole i just went directly to calculate the concentration so but i mean you you should be able to do this concentration of copper nitrate is then equal to that which is 0 0.700 molar so you can just remind yourself that is mixture divided by the concentration of the mixture and this one just becomes that so the number of moles is equal to that and we've seen before we know copper nitrate splits into two nitrate ions plus one copper ion Cation. So from this, it implies that the concentration of copper 2 plus will be the same. So it's 0 0.700 molar. And the concentration of NO3 minus is equal to 1.40 molar. Both three significant figures, very important. Um, and you can see one of my other videos for why the concentration is twice in this case. Remember, you can only do concentration multiplication when you're looking at a compound that splits into two ions. You can't do concentration molar ratios in a chemical reaction. 
Okay, thank you for watching. My apologies for um, calculating the N mix with, I can't even write today. That needs to be V mix. V mix um, gives you the concentration of the mixture, which is the concentration of the copper nitrate. Okay, thank you for watching.